Well, he is not only one of the best meteorite hunters in the world, an Emmy award-winning TV host and action scientist, he also lives right here in Southern Arizona. And here is a taste of his work. Their televised adventures have been broadcast on every continent, making them the most famous meteorite hunters in the world. Steve, I found a can! I'm Jeff Notkin. I'm a science writer, adventurer, and meteorite aficionado. Good job! I'm Steve Arnold. We've been hunting meteorites together for the last 18 years, and uh, looking forward to hitting the dirt trail again. It's a bromance. <laughs> From filming a new TV show to giving us all an opportunity to follow in his footsteps with a meteorite hunting boot camp, there are so many exciting things going on. So we welcome Jeff Notkin to talk about it all. That clip alone, hilarious. Thank you, ladies. Well, I saw you kind of bopping to the music. And I, I want to say that's Tucson's own Mission Creeps, the fantastic Mission oh, Creeps, cool. did the soundtrack for the new TV show for us. And we're fans. They're a great local band. So it's all, it's very local, the show. We filmed, we filmed at the Gem Show. We filmed at the White Stallion Ranch outside of town. And I've lived in Tucson for 11 years. I moved here voluntarily. I love this town. And we wanted to root the new show here in Arizona which it's, it's, it's my home and it's also the rock and gem and fossil and meteorite capital of the world. People come from all over the planet here for the Gem Show every year. So what better place to make a new science adventure television show than our oh, hometown yeah. of Tucson? <laughs> I love all that. I know, you're so, you're so exciting to listen to. Thank you. So I can't wait to see this. So where can we see it? It's, we, filmed, well, we filmed an entire episode ourselves and that is complete. So we're entertaining offers at present. We've been shopping okay. the show around to uh, a few networks, a few production companies, and uh, I can't say too much, you know, because right, right. secrecy is part of the excitement of a new show, but I promise that it will be airing soon, and you will be among the first to know. Oh, oh yes. Look at us being <laughs> A-listers. Well, I we're like very this. important. So, well, Jeff, okay, there's so much going on. You have so much to cover today, and we were talking on break about the Benuval event. Am I saying that right? Yes, you are. Well right. done. So I'm going to let you explain it because I don't oh, well, think thank I can you. repeat yeah, it's everything awesome. you said. It's amazing that it this is, is happening It is, it right is here. really amazing. And let me start by saying that we, uh, another wonderful thing we have here in Tucson is the amazing Fox Theater. It's one of the grandest theaters in the, in the United States, a vintage theater. And my friend and colleague, Professor Dante Loretta, who is a former meteorite scientist and now a space flight director, is the director of the OSIRIS REx asteroid sample return mission. And in English, he is sending a robot spaceship to the asteroid Bennu. It's going to scoop off some material and bring it back to Earth. Astounding, right? The yes. stuff of science yeah. fiction. So Dante has organized this wonderful event, September 12, at the Fox Theater, called Bennuval in honor of asteroid Bennu. I'm the MC, and we're bringing together a lot of Tucson's best artists and scientists, Flam Chen, the improv group. Professor Loretta will be showing a film about Osiris Rex. And we all love the arts and the sciences, and why should they not coexist together? So, so this is our mission, and tickets are on sale now. I invite anyone who loves a great show, whether it be artistic or scientific, to, to get advanced tickets. It's very kid-friendly. It will definitely be a night to remember. Oh, just you emceeing, that's, that's <laughs> enough, believe me. Thanks. He will have you cracking up, and you have such a great energy about Thank you. Thank you. And now, not only do we have this event, but you are doing something very unique, something that I don't think it's really been done before. It's kind of like a boot camp for people. You're absolutely correct. First time it's ever happened. So. I've been searching the globe for meteorites for 21 yeah. years. This is my great passion. I did three years of Meteorite Man. I did two years of STEM journals. Now we're doing Meteorite Hunters Unlimited. And I'm also a published author. I've written books about my work and many articles. So all of this coverage of this rather strange profession, which, let's be honest, is searching for space garbage that's falling <laughs> out of the sky, <laughs> has generated a lot of interest in yeah. people. Call and they email and they go, well, I want to learn how to, how to meteorite hunt. Like, Jeff, how do we do that? So I wrote a book called Meteorite Hunting, How to Find Treasure from Space. That wasn't enough. No, people want, they want the hands-on experience. So for the first time ever, we're doing a thing called Meteorite Hunting Boot Camp here in Tucson. We're doing one in January. We're doing a second one May the 1st. The January boot camp's already sold out. Oh, my gosh. And we're already taking reservations for May 1st. This is a metal detector. This is a fantastic piece of tech built by MineLab, a company that we work very closely with. 
and they are supplying equipment for us, and we're teaching people nuts and bolts in the field how to find meteorites, and we guarantee everybody will find one and take one home with them. You get to keep what you find. Are and you th this one in front of you is kind of a yeah. new find, right? This is so people can kind of see what they're looking for. This is Arizona's newest meteorite. It was found very recently by my team. And I know it just looks like sort of an ordinary earth rock. Oh, I've got a few of those in my driveway, sir. <laughs> but look how a magnet sticks to it. It's very wow. rich in iron. And if, if we were to section this piece, which we did in the lab, the interior structure is shown looks by like the that. slice here. So meteorites are rich in iron. They contain nickel. They have unusual shapes. This black surface here is actually fusion crust, where it burned in the atmosphere. Oh, my gosh. It tore through our atmosphere. So... This is, a, this is an exciting thing for us being based in Arizona to have been part of the discovery of Arizona's newest meteorite, and it's being classified now. And we will have pieces like this on display at the boot camp. So we're gonna, we're gonna show people what they're looking for, we're gonna give them a slideshow, and then we're gonna take them out in, in the field with metal detectors and magnets. I've got another expert meteorite hunter with me who's gonna be training them in multiple searching techniques, and everyone who completes will get a signed certificate saying that they're officially a meteorite uh, hunter. I think that's awesome. Thanks. I think this is such an amazing experience for people. Of course, who wouldn't want to learn how to be a meteorite man? Like uh, it beats me. I haven't found <laughs> anyone yet. <laughs> well, Jeff, I want to thank you so much. It was such a pleasure to meet you, and we can't wait to have you uh, hosting this upcoming event and teaching everybody how to find their own meteorite. Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> thank you. And to learn more about Meteorite Hunters Unlimited and upcoming events, including the Beneval evening of space, art, and music, you can call 742-3333 or log on to aerolight.org and jeffnotkin.com.